as part of the COPE North 2016 PNC, along with other civilians and military personnel, traveled to Rota to take a deeper look into the humanitarian assistance and disaster relief exercise. PNC's Tim McHenry has more with this report. Excellent. Yeah. Takes a big press for me. Press sounds. Oh. Excellent. Pulses. We can ready. Okay. Remove shoes and socks. Oh. Two large four IVs. We can start two liters. Normal sailing wide open. Rest assured, Guam, this is just an exercise. As you can see from the backdrop behind me, fighter jets, cargo planes, and green military tents, Cope North 2016 is officially underway. We're here on Anderson Air Force Base awaiting for a cargo plane that's going to take us to Rota for a humanitarian aid and assistance effort as all part of the joint exercise 2016 that began February 10th and runs all the way through February 26th. Lieutenant Colonel Glenn Reinhardt, commander of the 36th Mobility Response Squadron, explains that Camp Rota, the location of the humanitarian and assistance and disaster relief exercise, houses EMETS, or Expeditionary Medical Evacuation Squadron, which exists to treat those who require a high degree of care on the field. Once the patient is treated at EMEDS, the air evacuation squad will then take the patient from Camp Rota. They really uh, go into, uh, into emergency room type of operations, operating room type of operations. But once they're finished with that patient, there's another entity that comes in. That's the air medical evacuation team. And their, their purpose is to take that patient and uh, transport the patient onto the aircraft, go with that patient onto the aircraft, uh, and uh, take it from that aircraft to a, a, a more capable hospital like we have there in Guam. The emergency and operating rooms inside the temporary hospital at Camp Rota come equipped with everything a normal OR would have. But unlike a normal hospital OR or ER at Camp Rota, it's limited in space and resources. Despite these limitations, however, the team is able to perform serious procedures to those in need. If they have bony fractures um, or need stabilization of the bones that um, more than a splint can do. Um. Camp Rota is also equipped with a primary care section, a pediatric division, a labor division, and a pharmacy. At any given time, Camp Rota staffs 110 individuals from six different countries. Major Christopher Weaver, Director of Operations for the Mobility Response Squadron, explains. We're doing one portion of that, which is humanitarian assistance and disaster relief. And it's just another proof of concept that we can work in any scenario that comes to us with our international partners, uh, either here or anywhere in the world. For PNC News, I'm Tim Blas McHenry. Major Christopher Weaver says participating countries in this HADR scenario include Australia, Japan, the Philippines and the Republic of South Korea.